an argument in court about issues of time, and I wish to leave it there. The characterization and apportion a blame and singling out an individual is just a question of irritation. Uh, that must be dealt with as such, because uh, that matter is being tested in court in relation to that question. Um, when you deal with issues in office and how you challenge political parties in the context of uh, the electoral system and the IEC is really a matter of efficiency from both sides. Here in this case, we are arguing against the IEC together with Jacob Zuma's party, which defend, uh, which defend uh, them uh, stealing the logo and at the same time the symbol of the NC, which is well known. So, in simpler terms, we will not be here if Zuma named this party, Jacob Zuma Msholozi, a party. We wouldn't be here. Uh, we'll just uh, accept that he has left. If Zuma has got credibility on his own, why is he not standing on his own? Why does he take symbols of the ANC? If he's got credibility and uh, standing in society, and he believes in uh, his moral uh, uh, standing in South Africa, why is he not forming a party outright and taking symbols of the ANC? The reason is that he cannot. He cannot. He's got to take part of what belongs to the ANC, which is what the people follow of South Africa. And it goes with him. And that is why he will defend using Umkonto Wissi's historical role in the struggle for liberation. He will use that to defend himself and say we will win because now Umkonto Wissi's history and role in the struggle belong to Zuma? No, it doesn't. It belongs to the people of this country led by the liberation movement called the African National Congress. The graves of Nelson Mandela attending wherever they are in their graves for the fact that Mkonto Wesizwe has now been apportioned in terms of its history to an individual who on his own basis has not put up a political and ideological posture as to why does he form a political party and why does a party in his name arise in the broader political space. He's trying to argue that in a way, but uh, at the end of the day, he does not sustain it by standing on his own, by saying, I'm forming a party, and that's it. Malema went to form a party called EFF in his own name and right and fought for it. Why is Zuma afraid to form his own and say that uh, I'm forming a party to fight for land and he steals the ANC symbol? We will not be here today and probably you are right, wasting our time. It is a waste of time, indeed, precisely because a uh, waste of time and resources fighting over a matter that belongs to our party, unfortunately, not to other parties, but to the African National Congress in history. And uh, because Umkonto Wesizu, in terms of its history, is not far away from the African National Congress. Uh, many other things that have been raised on the matter of time have been argued in court, and we, we leave it there. We leave those issues there. And court will pass judgment on those particular issues and uh, we have argued them with the IEC and that is why we are at the electoral court and our, 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 our lawyers have argued that matter uh, quite uh, diligently and professionally uh, like we said. So we will not be diverted uh, by the issue of uh, what it calls to an individual in relation to follow up on matters because at the end of the day, it will end up being a case of defense of an individual, whereas it is not. Uh, the, 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 the case has been argued, and what we have done as an organization to defend um, the right to the symbol of Mkondo Esizu. Violence, are we concerned about that? Uh, we have characterized teapot parties that resort to violence and intimidation and uh, mobilizing people on the basis of threats and uh, fears. 
um, rhetoric. If you believe in your ideas, there's no need to threaten democracy. And democracy must defend itself. And all of those who are peace-loving, democratic, and Democrats in our country and believe in our constitutionalism must abhor such actions. Nobody else has got the right um, to threaten violence as a means to achieve their goals in a democratic state. And the democratic state must defend all its citizens such that uh, activities we come to see by July riots never repeat themselves again in our country. Nobody can say if things don't go my way in a constitutional court and if my leader is not registered by the IEC, there will be violence. We can all resort to that if we did not have a state. We are not stateless. And uh, South Africa is a democratic state, not a banana republic. It's neither a fake state nor democracy works as it has been proven over the past 30 years. We coexist even with people who have broke away from the ANC and we did nothing to them. We contested them through the polls. The same we will do with Jacob Zuma. Win or lose in the, in the electoral court, we'll contest him on the ground. We are not going to call members of the ANC to be violent and fight uh, as to while ANC members on the ground. We will accept the outcome of the court. We have made our case, but we'll continue to challenge the trademark of the ANC, which is what we are doing next week. If they lose, good for them. But we have taken a political decision to challenge the existence of MK uh, because we believe that uh, how it was registered uh, through the IEC, it is a matter that we believe needed to be challenged. And we have challenged that and argued that particular case in court. We don't think that it has followed all the necessary prescripts. And uh, this was just a fly-by-night arrangement. Quick, quick. It's, it's registered and using technical issues, which unfortunately we've got to argue in court, which we have done so. That's uh, why we, we feel that uh, things were not so much uh, uh, transparent in terms of dealing with this particular case. So we have argued those matters, and uh, the judgment has been reserved, and then we'll wait for that. So we are not deterred. We're not going to win an election uh, anyhow either than campaigning as we do right now on the ground uh, in terms of convincing people to vote for the ANC. If we don't convince people to vote for the ANC and why, they will walk away from us and all of that. And we don't believe that uh, others do have, but that will be tested on the ground, even that convincing and asking people to vote for us. We have never taken it for granted as a given. We have taken it as something that we need to work on and nudge all the time uh, throughout the length and breadth of South Africa. There is no change even in this election and that is exactly what we are doing.